often we are in these environments where people are trying to shape our identities and it's very difficult to uh, find who you are in those moments. It's also difficult to see other people who have different viewpoints than you do at that moment. And so I would say the lesson is to be patient um, with yourself as you try to figure out who you are and maybe try not to jump to any conclusions because I did and I went to conversion therapy. I listened to what my parents said to me and what the church said to me and that was really uh, damaging for me. And so I would say if you can find a way to have patience with yourself, um, do so. My biggest personal takeaway from this time in my life was that there, you can have two narratives in your mind, and many more hopefully, going on at the same time. I mean, I was raised in fundamentalist Christianity where we were told there was only one interpretation of the Bible. And so uh, going back to these moments and seeing that I possessed, you know, this God-fearing brain that was very fundamentalist based, but also this brain that I, I now think of as sort of the literature brain which is able to see character and contrast and nuance. And, you know, a lot of narratives try to flatten that out, and a lot of churches do as well. So I, I really felt like it was important for me to express that you could have multiple narratives. In the current political climate, I mean, we have such polarized viewpoints going on, and, and in many ways it feels as though the Arkansas that I knew when I was growing up and gay and, and people were hurling slurs at me is now, you know, the whole country in some ways. It feels that, like that to me. And um, it's discouraging and it's really scary for LGBTQ individuals to live in this kind of climate, especially since we know so much about Mike Pence and his support of conversion therapy. But I would say that the community that I'm in, all these great LGBTQ groups, all these great homeless shelters for LGBTQ individuals, they are the people that will stick with you. We've done this before, we've been through this. It doesn't make it any less scary, but we can do it again. We can survive and we can thrive at some point.